the endocrine system is today's lesson. Um, the endocrine system comprises of glands that produce hormones. And the endocrine glands are located in various parts of the body, including the brain, where we have the uh, pituitary gland, we have the adrenal, we have thyroid, we have testes and the ovaries in female. It is another system for coordination in animals in addition to the nervous system. Hormones are defined as organic chemical substances um, secreted in one area and usually have a, an impact in another part of the body of a living organism. And the functions of hormones in animals include regulation of growth and development so that it can take place at the required rate, controlling behavior during breeding, proper functioning of cells, and regulation of metabolic activities that occur within our bodies. So the production of hormones from the ductless glands is either directly or indirectly influenced by the nervous system. We have the pituitary gland being the master gland and controls all the activities of the endocrine uh, gland. But the hypothalamus influences activities of the pituitary gland by monitoring the level of hormones in the blood by negative feedback mechanism. So this is the negative feedback mechanism. So if the thyroxine gland is producing too much thyroxine, for example, thyroid gland produ producing too much of thyroxine uh, hormone, then the signal will levels will be sent to the pituitary gland here to secrete um, less thyroid stimulating hormone, uh, which is called thyrotropin. So in that case, we will have the level of thyroxine are falling down. So this thyroxine hormone is produced by thyroid gland around the neck region here. <clears throat> and the swelling of the thyroid gland is called, uh, is called goiter and it results because of overworking of the thyroid gland in the atom to s manufacture enough thyroxine. This is a person with a goiter. Then, apart from thyroxine, we have adrenaline secreted by adrenal gland attached above the kidney. This one here. So we want to compare the effects of over secretion and under secretion of the two hormones. So adrenaline hormone actually is secreted during the time of emergency and it prepares the body for flight and fight. For instance, when you come across any danger, like you meet, um, you are attacked by robbers, you want to fly or to run away. So the energy you will use that during that particular time is as a result of adrenaline so over secretion of uh, over secretion of uh, adrenaline causes severe headache toneless muscles high blood pressure weak bones obesity that is being uh, overweight and early onset of sexual development and the secretion of adrenaline leads to low blood pressure inability to withstand stress fatigue all the time, muscular weakness, muscle wasting, and increased dark pigmentation on the, uh, on the skin. Um, hmm. Then thyroxine, during high, uh, over secretion, we say it is hyperthyroidism, and it leads to increased metabolism, increased heartbeat, physical restlessness, mental restlessness, 
and enlarged uh, thyroid gland. On the other hand, under secretion of thyroxine is called hypothyroidism and there are effects of hypothyroidism. We have one, creatinism in children characterized by poor leg formation, large tongue, dry leathery skin, retarded growth, um, low mental development and lowered metabolism. In adults, it results in myxodemia characterized by swelling of the thyroid gland resulting in what we call goiter. There is also reduced heartbeat and breathing rate together with low body temperature. We want to compare endocrine and the hormonal or the endocrine which is the hormonal system and the nervous system. Both bring about survival response. These are required for survival and they both involve chemical transmissions. Both involve transmission of message triggered by stimulus. That message is what we are calling an impulse. Both provide a means of communication within the body of an organism. And the target organs of hormones are like the effector organs. And what are the differences between the endocrine and the nervous system? We are going to summarize using this table. In the nervous system, response is only restricted to effector organs, that those are the localized organs. But in the hormonal system, response affects several, several parts of the body. A nervous system, the response, the speed of response is rapid. For instance, uh, uh, when you touch a hot pan, you drop it immediately. But for hormones, it takes time. So it is slow for those hormones to affect growth or change. The nervous system, uh, the nervous impulse is transmitted through a nerve fiber. Then, Hormones are, are transferred through blood. The duration for response in the nervous system is short, but hormonal effects persist for long. We have talked about the speed uh, being also rapid and for this one being lower. Then the transmission is electrical for the case of the nervous system because it is an impulse. But for the case of a hormonal, the transmission is chemical. The hormones are chemical substances. Then we conclude by looking at the effects of drug abuse on human health. So a drug is a substance that causes a change in the body function. And drug abuse is the indiscriminate use of drugs without minding their side effects. Uh, it can be misuse or, or that is a wrong use of drugs. You are using drugs for the wrong Purpose, that is a drug abuse. So there are effects of drug abuse on human health. One, damage to body organs like the liver being damaged by liver to cause liver cirrhosis. Drug addiction that is not being able to do without drugs. Then poor judgment resulting in clumsiness, socioeconomic problems, for example crime. It is likely to lead to loss of jobs breaking of families, prostitution which may later make one acquire HIV and AIDS among other diseases. There is also poor appetite. For instance, when the liver is damaged, then there is no digestion of food. May cause pregnancy complication in women and poor fetal development. So we can use these diagrams to summarize the effects of drugs. So you can see a uh, 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 health liver and a damaged liver. Then damage on the body surface, the skin. These one are people who use uh, hard drugs, they inject. So the skin is badly damaged. And then this is the cancer of the effacer gas because of excessive consumption of alcohol and even small, uh, I think excessive consumption of alcohol. Then we have lung cancer due to smoking of cigar. Bath defects we have talked about here. And then of course importance not being able to give uh, birth 
or uh, to produce a fertile offspring. We are done with that particular lesson. This assignment is very crucial um, for testing yourself. See you in our next lesson.